and this is your head inside this beanie hat. As you can see, it's now dropped to microwatt levels. And if you take the hat off, put it back on the phones, look at that, shoots right up to milliwatts back again. So this hat does technically offer you protection against RF, proven right here in the tests. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Now they've recently started updating our local 4G cell towers to 5G. And of course this is great for download speeds, but even according to them, it will increase the radiation levels, EMF radiation levels by up to 400%. So I'm gonna be going up close to one of these cell towers. And to be honest with you, every single time I walk past it, I get a slight headache over here. And I think you get- I get, I get one on my right side of my head. Now, I, I don't know if it's psychological. I don't know what it is, but it always happens. So I'm just gonna show you up close and I have one of these. So this is Lambs' EMF RF radiation proof beanie hat. Looks like a normal beanie hat, but it is lined with special protection material. I'm gonna demonstrate it on these mobile phones right here. As you can see, the levels there, they're about the low end of what you get when you're close to one of these cell towers in the real world. Yowzers. Yowzers. That is a constant red. <laughs> Context. This is my AC Wi-Fi router, and at two meters away, it's on two or one green bar. If I go in for it to be one meter away, you can see that it jumps up, but it's still in the green, and maybe one yellow bar at most. If I go in really close, about 10 centimeters away, that's where I get to the red milliwatt levels which if you look into the official user guide of the manual of most routers, you'll find that they have an FCC RF statement stating that the antennas should provide a separation distance of at least 20 centimeters to avoid those milliwatt levels. And in case you're wondering what that means, World Health Organization, scroll down a little bit, and you can see for mobile phone base stations, not cell phones, base stations, they recommend a maximum public exposure limit of 0.1 watts per meter squared. But let's put on the hat, ba -boom, over on top. You can see the levels have dropped right down. That is only one green bar. All right, so normally when I'm walking past this tower, I do get a slight headache. Again, we don't know if it's psychological or not. Anyway, I'm wearing my beanie hat protection. It feels like a, a normal beanie hat, maybe a little bit tighter. I'm not feeling a headache yet. I'm still having more past it, still just over there. So a bit of cars on the road. I'm not getting a headache yet. Are you getting anything? Did you? Get a bit of headache um, usually, too. yeah. Usually, I'm not sure again for psychological, but usually I get a bit of pressure in my right ear. And um, am I feeling anything I'm right now? I'm starting to get a slight pressure. Really? Yeah. Right now. So yeah. well. I'm starting to get pressure. I don't feel anything. I'm I'm alright. Are you actually feeling I'm, something? I'm getting pressure in my right ear. You're That's what usually happens to me. I get pressure. You in my get right pressure, right pressure ear. in your right I ear. Get in my so right I'm not too. feeling anything right now, and you're getting. I'm going to take this off. You put it on. This is a live test. Again, we don't know how accurate it is. We all. Be doing some tests in the lab very soon, but this is just real life tests. Let's go. Still getting pressure. Be honest. Well, let me just give me, give me a couple of minutes to. You want to walk past? We'll go yeah, back and forward. Let's walk past it, it one more time. Quite warm and cozy. It's usually it's really nice in this area by the trees. So that's yeah. when the headache kind of like goes away for me. Let me cover my ears. Me? So am I feeling a headache? Like I'm not, right now? Right now, no, I can't feel anything in my head. Again, we're just estimating it using our brains. We don't know for sure. We're gonna do another pass through right now. She's yeah, wearing a hat this time. Eyes, okay, this close time. the eyes. Again, it and could I'll be you know. psychological. The sun is also out here. Could be getting heat stroke. <laughs> Find out for sure. Do you feel I, I, I feel a little bit. Again, walking past it one more time. Do you feel anything? I've got like a one or two percent. What pressure. is it normally? Like usually it's about 70%. I don't know if you've gone past it already. But right now, it's like gone now. It's gone? Yes, yeah, so usually I have like one or two We've all passed it, all right. Passed it. That was pretty interesting. How does it feel anyway to you? It, it feels really nice and cozy and snug. I'm not sure if it's just because it's nice and warm on my ears. Maybe that's what's helping. Yeah, the warmth really the helps. The warmth probably helps <laughs> it. Beanie hat. And obviously, I don't know, like this is not, this is such an unscientific test. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to test out these radiation blocking bodies, beanie hats, in the lab to let you know if it actually works efficacy-wise. And this is your head inside this beanie hat. As you can see, it's now dropped to microwatt levels. And if you take the hat off, put it back on the phones, look at that, shoots right up 
to milliwatts back again. So this hat does technically offer you protection against RF proven right here in the tests. Other benefits I'd say to wearing this uh, hat situation is it is kind of fashionable. I did get like wolf shouted out by one of the truckies down the road. Didn't exactly know what he said. He was like, you go, you rocket, something like, what did he say? What did he say? Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, he was like, you go, go in. You know, I was modeling the shoot further down. <laughs> so I guess it does look kind of stylish. Available now, penthouse apartments with the best reception signal ever. All you can need in this world. Bye now. No thanks. You sure? Yeah.